Como ainda cá indiquei para ela, we have made field the first uh, before his fight on KSW 100. So, uh, how are you? How are you feeling about uh, fighting on the uh, on this this event on this uh, 100? Oh, it's going to be great. You know, I missed out on the stadium show, but uh, this KSW 100 is going to be really good. It looks like an all-star cast, and uh, training's going great. You know, so I'm, I can't wait to go out there and perform. Okay, so about training, but about uh, your opponent. Uh, We were thinking it it uh, could it would be Darko Stoshit. Uh, it is uh, you can confirm or no? Not yet, but uh, we'll get, I think it's getting announced sometime next week. So you won't have to wait long. So next week everyone will find out. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's talk about Darko because everybody thinks uh, it it would be him. Uh, you you were fighting guys, uh, but uh, but do you think Darko made uh, such a good progress to? To can uh, to can maybe beat you, but uh, uh, but uh, how do you feel about this? Oh, D- Darko is is probably the most dangerous guy in the division. You know, he's got one one punch stop and power, and he's done great. You know, if it is him, he deserves his shot. But uh, I'm I'm honestly feeling amazed at the moment. I think it'll uh, it'll be the same old story. You know. Okay, so uh, so you think it would be well, maybe easy fight or or no? Oh no, there's no easy fights, especially with 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 Darko. I mean, or whoever it is, you know, we don't even know who it is yet. <laughs> but uh, no easy fights. But I, I'm I think I'm just better than everybody in the division, and I, I'm getting better. Uh, I'm part of the best team in the whole world, and uh, like every day in the gym, it's battles. You know, like there's no easy rounds. It's it's battling all the time. Uh, we've got big Mick Parker, who's fantastic at the moment. Got uh, obviously we've got Tom Aspinall, uh, and it, 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 we we are the best. You know, and we're gonna we're gonna keep showing everybody we're the best. Okay, about Tom, I will ask you uh, uh, later. But uh, uh, what do you think about the situation in heavyweight division in KSW? Because there are some new guys, some some dangerous guys. I think uh, there is, uh, for example, uh, the most famous heavyweight on, at this moment. I think, uh, but not Bujan, of course. Uh, it's uh, it's Arek Vzosek. He's uh, he's going uh, going to the top, I think. And uh, do you think in few few months, few years, maybe? Uh, he will be dangerous in the in the title fights. Yeah, I've I've definitely got my eye on Eric. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a lovely man. I've spoken to him a lot, but he is a uh, very very dangerous. You know, and he's also very very big and very very tall. You know, uh, exceptionally good striker, very very dangerous. What, like same as Darko, knockout power. But his grappling hasn't been tested yet. You know, would like to see him in the grappling. You know, because if he can't grapple, that that uh, like he's not going to do very well against me. But uh, he 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 is very dangerous. You know, I think he's definitely the future of the division. He's only young. How old is he? Is he young? too uh, I don't remember yet I can I can check it uh, now on my phone I think about 30 30 something yeah But, uh, well yeah I, he's definitely doing good you know he's one to watch so uh, maybe yeah, after 32. This, maybe it is him maybe it's him we just don't know it could be him <laughs> yeah it's, it could be it could be I don't know uh, well We we know everybody that uh, that he wanted to fight with Mariusz Pujanowski, so <laughs> I don't think so. It would be him. But do you still want to to do this fight? Because it's probably for you. It would be a big money fight. Yeah, I'd love that. You know, and like I said, if I, if we do it, I promise no takedowns. I won't do a single takedown. Gentlemen's agreement. I'll have to do a handshake and everything. You know, but uh, you know. If his guy gets injured, you know, and I win my fight, I'll I'll do two fights on the same night. You know, we'll, we'll get it done. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll see what happens. You know, I like I like Marius. You know, he's a nice guy, uh, but I do like money also. You know. So, what do you say about, uh, for example, the second KSW epic and uh, fight with Marius, but only striking? Yeah, I'll do that. You know, I'll do it. I'll promise handshake. You know, if uh, we'll put, we'll even get a little thing in the contract. Well, uh, it'll have to be an MMA fight, or it wouldn't be for the title. You know, but uh, I'll just promise. You know, promise handshake, no takedowns. You know. Okay, so so that sounds interesting. Okay, so uh, you you mentioned uh, Thomas Pinal in uh, in uh, a little bit earlier, and I want to to ask you, what do you think that uh, John Jones is uh, a little bit scared about Tom? Yeah, Tom and Stipe, they won't fight him. We we know Stipe won't because he had the option. And uh, John is doing everything in his power to avoid him and not mention his name, you know. Nobody wants to fight him. Like, uh, the, John just wants to make his money and go, I think, and it's fair enough. But uh, it's, it's not really fair on Tom because... 
Palmer is without a doubt the best heavyweight in the UFC, you know, and uh, they're painting them as the third best heavyweight. When it's when these these other guys don't want to fight them, like he's he's obviously the best, you know. Uh, so it's not really fair, but I think after this fight, uh, probably like if Jones wins or Stipe wins, they'll have to fight them, but they won't. They'll just retire. But like uh, like I said, they, they they need another backup fighter because if anyone gets injured, neither of them are going to fight them. But uh. I mean, they are older, you know, and Tom is a is a is a new is a new breed of heavyweights, you know. But uh, yeah, they don't want to fight him. It's not going to happen. But if it happens, and and probably and uh, Jones uh, will fight with Tom. Do you think uh, Phil, uh, do you think that Tom will win easily? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, John is great, you know, and uh, he's got all the five round experience. You know, he might be able to avoid Tom for a bit. Maybe you know it'll. It's it's not a like a. Yeah, I, th I think Tom would probably just knock him out though. You know, he just knocks everybody out. He just, he's he's just got yeah. the confidence. He's got the the striking. He doesn't mind taking a shot to give a shot. He's got a great chin. I think he's got all the attributes to just go and do the John what he's done to everybody. You know, but uh, John is good, but Tom Tom is better. Okay, so uh, at the end I will ask you because there is. Uh... More than one month to to KSW 100. So, uh, what about your weight? <laughs> How many kilograms this time you have to cut? Oh, I'm I'm really light. I'm light. I've uh, oh. I've gave up smoking weed and I've gave up drinking alcohol. You know, I used to party all the time. You know, like I was doing like five nights out of seven. I would be drunk or so high or something. You know, so I've given it all up. You know, and I feel great. I'm uh, I'm only 127 kilograms normally at this point. I'm like 135 kilograms, so I'm eight kilograms lighter. And honestly, I, I'm feeling as good as I am fight night at the moment. You know, you're gonna see. Uh, like honestly, I, people say this all the time, but like uh, I, I've really started to the healthy living. You know, it's because uh, like when I see Tom and Mick in the gym, I don't want to get left behind. You know, I want to be the best. You know, I don't want to. I don't want it to ever end. So I've decided you don't want to be a real professional. No more partying, just uh, healthy living, training, getting my head down. You know, keep winning. Okay, because uh, last time, I, if I could remember, uh, you you were about 107, uh, 127 a uh, day before weighed in. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I am now, you know, like, so I think I might, uh, well, I'm going to start eating more, you know, because I, I don't want to be too, I like being big, but it'll be a much smaller weight cut, you know. Well, like, normally, I'm 135 at this point, so I lose eight kilograms up to the fight, but... Uh, I like it. Well, if I come in light, I come in light. You know, I want to be healthy. I want to be faster. I want to be better. I want to have more steam. Like I said at the moment, I'm a nightmare at the gym. You don't want to be sparring me at the moment. So like, I've got I've got like seven more weeks of training than I normally do. You know, so finally getting my act together. And I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I can just do what I want. I can just party all the time and keep winning. And like and I was, but yeah, I don't want it to ever ever stop. You know, so time time to time to get serious for my career now. But you will drink Polish beer after winning on KZ. Well, yeah. <laughs> after the fight, you know, I'm going to go crazy for like two weeks, maybe two weeks going crazy, then then get back at it, you know. But uh, like, I don't even know why. Like, I'll, I'll party all the time, you know. And I, like, I don't even think I would sit there and go, this is boring. I do this all the time. Like, what, why am I even doing it? You know, it's like, it's not even fun anymore. So, like, that, like, and now I'm like just doing other stuff, you know, like going on little trips and go for hikes and taking the kids out more and going swimming in the water parks and stuff. It's, it's much better, you know. I'm, I'm happier, you know. I don't, I, I don't know why I did it for so many years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's, that's good. That's good to hear this. Okay. So, uh, I wish you, uh, health for, for the rest of the, for the rest of the camp and, uh, and see you soon in Glivice, I hope. Thank you very much, Kuba. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, mate.